Hey everyone, Mike here with Prehistoric Magazine. Now, the largest four-legged terrestrial carnivore of all time. That's saying quite a bit. The Solosuchus. Be honest, had you heard of it before? About two and a half years ago, I had never heard of this extraordinary beast. And if you're a film buff, you may have seen it make an appearance in the movie 65. Now, that's another story. The Solosuchus, an amazing animal, nonetheless... And it is the largest non-dinosaur theropod predator of all time, as of right now. So think about that. T-Rex, Giganotosaurus, Spinosaurus. This animal, apart from the theropod dinosaurs, is apparently the largest terrestrial carnivore that has ever walked the earth. Until we find something else. But that's saying quite a bit. It's the star of my new book, Predatory. We'll talk more about that later in the video. But really want to pay some homage to this amazing animal discovered in 1981 by Jose Bonaparte in Argentina. This animal lived at the end of the Triassic, 26 to 33 feet in length, possibly three to upwards of four tons. This was an amazing whopper of an animal and a true apex predator in its environment. It would have hunted early sauropods, such as the sauropod known as Les Mosaurus. Now, in preparation for my book, Predatory, I did a bunch of, re bunch of research on this animal. Again, about two and a half years ago, didn't know much about it. Really fascinating to learn about it. Embarrassed that I'd never heard of it before. And then shocked when I saw it make that, what I consider to be a ridiculous appearance in 65. Because of the gross oversizing of the animal. Did not appear realistic at all. If you haven't seen 65, maybe don't see it. If you did see 65, you know what I'm talking about. That animal, the Solosuchus, makes an appearance. But nonetheless, this is a shout-out video, just paying homage to a creature that really does not get a lot of attention. And it was not a dinosaur. It was not a theropod dinosaur, but it was approaching the sizes of what is considered to be megatheropods, animals three and a half tons and up. So this was, by weight estimate, definitely a megatheropod. Now, the skull alone was about 1.4 meters in length, about 4.3 feet long. Now, 4.3 feet long, if we pause on that skull length for a second, that's as big as the skull of T-Rex. T-Rex may have been a little bit bigger, probably wider, heftier. I've never seen the skull of Fasolosuchus, but 4.3 feet in length is an enormous creature, especially one that's only 26 to 33 feet in length. You know, T-Rex was quite a bit longer than that. This animal had a giant head in proportion to its overall body size. Again, four tons in weight, puts it around the weight of a hippo. And it was an animal not to be messed with, extremely powerful. And it was part of the Ryasukian family. Now, other Ryasukians had two or more rows of osteoderms running down their back. And it's believed by scientists that these osteoderms were used as protection making it difficult for other animals to bite down and latch onto the backs and necks of these Ryasukians. But the Solosuchus appears to be a little bit different in that it only had one row of osteoderms running down its back, leading, leading scientists to speculate that it had no natural enemies. There was nothing that could tackle it in its environment. Again, one row of osteoderms running down its back, probably for the simple reason that nothing could tackle it, except for another Fasolosuchus, another rival, potentially fighting for breeding rights with females or just territory in general. So probably another of its kind would have been the only threat to this animal. Now this animal was taken down by what we consider to be climate change during the end of the Triassic. The climate changed quite a bit and that in turn put pressure on the species and that is what we think led to the ultimate demise and ultimate dis extinction of the animal. Now, as I stated at the beginning of the video, it is the star of my new book, Predatory. It takes place in the Amazon. I had to figure out an animal, a creature that wasn't used much in science. And you would imagine probably the shock on my face when I found out that the movie 65 was also featuring Fasolosuchus. Here I am doing research for my new prehistoric thriller creature novel. I'd never heard of this animal before. Really psyched that it is apparently the biggest um, four-legged carnivore of all time. And 
all of a sudden I see 65 and my eyes bulge thinking that people are going to think that I ripped the movie off. But in actuality, I had no clue that that animal was going to make an appearance in the movie. My animal is in the book is more true to the real size. It's about 32 feet long, about four tons in weight. I stick to what we know from the fossil record. I always want to be as accurate as I can. And my main character is a reclusive billionaire who gives up everything and begins kidnapping other billionaires in an effort to get them to see that space travel is a ridiculous endeavor. So any billionaire that's gone up into space, he targets, he brings to the middle of the Amazon. They're strapped to a wooden pole. They awake to a horrific nightmare. And my character's name is Jeffrey. Now, he never actually does the killing. His beloved Fasola Sukas do the killings for him. If you think you might like to support this channel, Predatory is down in the link below. All book sales go to fund Prehistoric Magazine and to keep this YouTube channel rolling. So, again, let me know in the comments section down below. Be honest on this. Had you ever heard of Fasola Sukas? Look forward to hearing from you all. Take care. See you in the next video.